Hey you guys, so um, on my way to Walmart um, to pick up the groceries I ordered online. Real quick, I'm training to sanitize my car. As you can see on the title, this is going to be a life, um, a life in a day or a day in the life of a family <laughs> that one member so far has been tested positive for COVID-19. husband works I need my purse my wallet in there where my husband works periodically he um, has to get COVID testing done um, he works for a nursing home so they make him do COVID testing um, every two weeks yep, it's in here. every two weeks and um, this last test he got it done on a Thursday and he got the test results and the test results posed positive for COVID-19 um, so they told him Thursday no they told him Sunday which was yesterday because today is Monday um, the third or the second what day is that um, today's third Monday the third of August um, so he texted me while I was at work and um, his supervisor or whatever, um, the chef of where he works at, notified him, hey, you tested positive. So I, since I work for a major airline, I had to notify my supervisor or my lead, our supervisors weren't there that early so about eight o'clock or so I notified them and I had to come to work or leave work um, I worked three flights that day luckily that yesterday was my Monday um, I had been off since Wednesday um, due to because I had to take my daughter to get her wisdom teeth and then I um, normally have Thursday Friday Saturday off so, went to work Sunday like normal, worked the flight. Um, we are obligated to make sure we wear masks at all times, anytime we're around passengers, anytime we're around employees. So, um, I had my mask on the whole time like I normally do at work. Um, and so, when I got the results, I was eating. So, I hurried up and um, put my mask on and called his work, made sure everything was good. Um, but anyways, um, I scheduled my appointment right away to go get tested for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I have a test um, here in our county office, um, and it's a drive through test, so I'm going to go do that like at 9 o'clock. My girls were with their dad, so I had to contact her, them, um, and then we also have a foster child, so I had to call um, the DHS. I had to massive text message the DHS worker the FSRP worker the one that takes him to his visits um, two of them because he had two of them last week and then I had to contact um, the lawyer because we had a lawyer visit on Friday so yeah oh, and then the daycare provider luckily he hadn't gone to daycare for a week because she was on vacation but um, right now we are heading to Walmart. I need to check in and make sure they know that I'm on my way to pick up my groceries. Alright, since I'm on my way to Walmart um, to pick up my groceries, this is the first time I did my grocery order online. Um, and just, I want to make sure that I don't expose anybody. Um, I'm not around 
or walking or shopping. Um, so I decided to do this ordering online. Um, it was fairly easy to get into finding this stuff, and I think honestly I saved, um, I spent less money than I would normally uh, because when I'm at the grocery store, I'll pick this and this and this and this. And um, online, you have to kind of put in what you're looking for. Um, so I found it was like a lot easier and um, I saved, I, not saved, but I didn't spend a whole lot of money um, getting extra stuff. Um, I just got the necessities I needed um, for the week. Um, so we are kind of just quarantining until I get my test back. Um, and then I'm hoping that mine is negative and I get to go to work. Because um, I don't know what I'm going to do for a whole week and a half at home. Um, so, uh, he is not able to go back to work until he has, um, another COVID test in about 10 days and it is, um, negative. So, we don't know. We assume that he possibly got it from work because, um, department there were about three or four people that we know of that tested positive um, and so he works for a assistant living home he which is really big he's a cook there um, there's about I want to say about seven cooks and then a the chef so they're gonna be down quite a few employees this week um, his company's kind of hush hush about it. They do their um, their test privately um, since they have nurses and doctors and stuff there. They administer it and do that there, um, and they do not release any information who's sick if employees are. Uh, so it's it's kind of fishy. I mean. They're a big organization. They, they're around the United States, but I mean, they need to release that had been sick uh, periodically, uh, like wait staff and wait managers. So they did not, like, they didn't release really that information. It was just like by word of mouth. Um, so right now, I'm thinking that the residents are going to notice that they have all these cooks. Um, not working and maybe they'll gonna, this vlog is going to probably be a three or four day vlog um, just because I'm going to show you guys when we went to when we go to get our testing done and then when we get our results just got done with the pickup at Walmart and we had a really nice and polite girl named Shay that helped us um, and literally they just have you park in the spot it like the GPS or whatever knows that you're parking in the spot and it asks you what color your car is and what spot that you parked in and literally we didn't wait anything um we pulled up and she was already out here with our groceries so very good service um this is on the south side of des moines walmart which is a little sketchy walmart uh on a normal day and um uh, it worked really well she the girl that helped us was super nice super polite she introduced herself um so i'm very happy um so yeah, we will probably use the service again for the next couple weeks. 
One thing I did forget to mention, I have to go to Menards. So um, we are gonna mask up and we are gonna go in and out of Menards as quickly as we can. Um, Cause since my husband's gonna be home, we are gonna make him, um, all right, you guys, so I am on my way to my appointment for my COVID-19 test. Um, I'm going to go do that here. It is not far away from my house. So I think I'll get there probably like in um, 15, 20 minutes. All right. By the way, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> It is Tuesday. Today I would be at work and working my butt off. But I have to come do this. Um, so I'm gonna try to do as much recording as I can. Um, there, on my way there. And while that process is being done, uh, I got my mask. They so in the state of Iowa. Um, there is free COVID testing. I heard that some states you have to pay for it. In the state of Iowa, you do not have to. Um, but there's assessment that you have to take online. Um, and then they give you uh, a printout to print out and take to the drive through clinic that will get the test done. I, my nose is a little stuffy today. I don't feel sick. And my nose feels a little bit stuffy, but I think it's just because I honestly, I slept with the air conditioner on. I think that's what it is. Um, so, um, other states, I know California, um, they charge like $180 per test. Um, and I think that's like a big hardship for people. I mean... That's a lot of money. Uh, but the state of Iowa, they do that free. Um, there is some tests that you could play, some cl clinics that you could pay um, $75 and do um, like the rapid test or the one that, I think it's blood or something, I don't know. Um, but there's ones that you pay $75. So where my husband works at, um, he works at an assistant living home and with him, his tests are done every two weeks. Um, and that's, I think, I think I haven't really checked his paycheck, but I think his company pays for those. Um, so they make their employees do it every two weeks. So that's kind of how we found out. We've gone to restaurants that have like the 50 seater capacity and where their employees wear masks. Um, so, for instance, we went to Olive Garden. Normally, or not Olive Garden, um, Red Lobster. We went to Red Lobster a couple weeks ago, and um, we went, and Red Lobster was absolutely empty. So there was only us and a couple... Um, a couple guests on the other side and then all the wait staff and everybody had masks on so um, and then we went out to we just went out recently to um, a Mexican restaurant where because my niece uh, or my husband's niece turned 22 so we um, took her out to eat for her birthday. Um, she's really close to us. She's also getting tested because she was with us that week. Um, she works at the airport. I just took my daughter to Iowa City to get her um, wisdom teeth taken out. Um, she's kind of out on her own now. She lives with my mom. And so I had to notify them uh, of anything, but I've not had any real symptoms or anything so we'll see how it goes <laughs>
we met Your eyes so blue, me pressing through I can't forget the day we met Your smile so bright, it made me small I love it Okay, so they had me below my nose they asked for my ID and they asked for my barcode. Um, right now I'm in a line. It's not busy. There's only one car ahead of me. And we'll go for the next one. turn towards me. You don't have to put your head up or anything okay. like that. Okay. Here we go. Just breathe through your mouth, okay? Try your other side here. Good job. Nice deep breath through your mouth. Through your mouth. There we go. Good job. Well done. All oh. right. Within 72 hours, you'll get an email or text about results. Okay. All right. Thank you. It was literally 15 seconds. It was not long, but it did feel like a minute. Um, but I counted 15 seconds, like they said on a video, and it was literally 15 seconds. Um, so they said that I would get my test about results in about 72 hours. Um, so we'll go from there. Um, but one thing I wanted to talk about, because it's part of the things that's going on right now, is... Um, we are, as you guys know, we're our foster parents. We do have a placement here in our house. We have um, video, or we have visits with mom uh, about four times a week for an hour. Um, and right now, those are gonna go virtual. So our little guy is three and a half. I keep on wanting to say two and a half because that's what we thought for two months but he's currently three and a half um, and his attention span is really small. Um, we do virtual visits with his bio dad and that goes well, um, but dad is more interactive with him. We'll play the guitar. We'll talk about his toys. We'll talk about books. Um, Mom in the past is doesn't do any of that. Um, even with regular visits, she is sometimes just on her phone or watching TV while he's around the house playing. Um, so we have decided that we are going to just go ahead and do the virtual visits. His SRP worker is going to still be in those visits. Alright, so round two. Now I am taking Nayeli to go get her um, test done. It is three o'clock. We have her appointment set at three thirty. Um, and yeah, Nayeli, any words? Are you scared? I'm scared as heck. She's kind of scared. Um, I showed her the video of when I did it. Um, it's only fifteen seconds of. All right, here's pictures of Nayeli getting hers done. I tried to take a video, but it wouldn't work to my phone died. So these were on her phone. All right, you guys, happy Wednesday. Look, my living room is now white. Um, the dining room, where are you at? Right here, that's the color of the dining room right now. But I love my white living room. Um, so today we don't have much of anything. I am just making my daily coffee here. It's an iced coffee with the pecan toasted coffee. Um, and then I use this almond milk, silk almond milk creamer. 
and I just top that off and that is what I do every morning my own little iced coffee it is like the best thing in the world and it's cheaper than Starbucks So I went ahead and decided that I was going to brew a new pot of this coffee that I drink in my iced coffee. And here is what I use, the Cameron's Toasted Southern Pecan. That is my favorite coffee right there. Um, and I just do it with the Mr. Coffee yeah. coffee pot and that's it. So right now I'm in our foster kiddos room, um, the neighbors outside, so I don't want them to see me, but um, we are in his room. I am going to start cleaning up. He has a virtual visit with his mom today. Um, yesterday it didn't go well because mom for some reason could not get um, Zoom to work. Um, the worker told her about a couple times to make sure she downloads it uh, on her phone. They told her last, they told her Sunday night, Sunday night or Monday and visit is, was Tuesday. So they told her how to do it, um, but she did not, she did not do it. Um, so yesterday we had, um, a video call with myself and the worker and then um mom was on the phone she called me so we're looking for um alternatives i guess mom has a um iphone uh worker has an iphone i do not have an iphone but my daughters do so um if it has to be that's probably how it's gonna be um, we'll probably have to do it, um, on an iPhone. So, um, yeah, honestly, that is what the situation is. We did take our test yesterday and we are just waiting for us to get our test results. Um, they said 24 to 72 hours. So hopefully we get them soon. Um, I checked with my, um, employment and, um, our, my job does have um sick leave um guaranteed 14 days sick leave if we have COVID-19 um and if we are getting tested for it it's an unexcused absence so honestly that is um that's reinsurance for me and um then my husband I mean he's tested at work and I think he has a similar thing Look at the little kid. Look what he did. My wall. Um, I don't know if it was him or if it was my husband. Who that, that, but. So right now I'm just going to clean up his room. Get it ready. Even though they're not going to see the whole thing on video. Um, on the video conference. But I'm just going to try to keep it clean. Um, this window is a window to our bedroom. Um, we converted this um, front part of our um, house into a bedroom um, I think well, actually my husband did that way 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 back um, so this was like our office space our bedroom he had uh, before we moved in or before I moved in and married him um, this was his sister's room um, and so that was kind of boarded up but um, with little guy being so little and not sleeping through the night we took it off and so this is the entrance that he just jumps through the window to get to our bed um so that's why that window's there um but yeah honestly this whole COVID I think my husband still does not have symptoms um he complains that he had headache and a little bit of body ache yesterday um but that could have been from us painting um I have no symptoms Nayeli has no symptoms so we will just see what happens um with our tests when we get them back um yeah so i'm just gonna get ready get this room straightened up uh, for his video chat with mom and we will i just got a message from the worker so let me get off here and let me check it 
I have been meaning to show you guys this also. Um, I mentioned in another previous video about um, a tripod ring light that I got from Amazon. Um, I did get it, but the first one I got, uh, it was not working correctly. So I had to return it and I got a replacement. So this is what it looks like. It's a pretty good size ring light. Um, a funny thing is, I in the beginning of the year, I ordered one from Amazon, or not Amazon, from Wish, hoping that it was going to get here in time for Nayeli's Quinceanera, and it had never showed up. Well, it finally showed up, and it is itty bitty. It doesn't even fit my phone. Um, so... Um, luckily it was taking forever and I was like, I really want a ring light. So I found this one on Amazon and I'll link the description below, but look how big this ring light is. And I think it was only, only cost me like $30, but it comes with the ring light, comes with the little tripod, um, adapter, comes with the little remote and it comes with a tripod that is a good size like it goes up to maybe um, my shoulder it's not taller than me but it works um that's what i have right here I'm trying to get this out so i had to go and return the other one and then they mailed this to me right away. Like I got it within um, a day and a half. But it's really nice and sturdy, you guys see. So this is the smallest one. And then it has, um, I think it goes up two more times. So it's, it's pretty tall. Um, so this is what I'm going to use right now to put my daughter's phone. Because we are going to do a... Um, a FaceTime and since I don't have an iPhone I'm gonna use my daughter's phone and I'm just gonna use plop it on this i uh, this tripod right here so I'm gonna get this set up and um, yeah that's the deal get his room ready anyways get this set up so I have to figure out how I'm gonna put it um, where he's playing at he literally plays at his bed um, so I'm going to try to do that and get it set up for him and I'll talk to you after the visit. so I just want to give you a quick update um, we got our test results back um, last night about 9 uh, I had to be like 7 30 9 o'clock um, Nayeli's came first and then mine came look how curly my hair is this is my natural curl you guys FYI um, so I have a little guy in the room with me so I'm trying to make this quick um, we are both negative for COVID-19 um, which I am very happy about. Uh, Juan's niece, my husband's niece, also tested negative for COVID. I contacted my employer this morning through email and let them know that uh, I was negative and I'm going to be scheduled to work on Sunday. So I'll be back to work on Sunday which I'm glad. My husband is right now um, still quarantining when he is around us and out and about um, in the living room and stuff. He does has his mask on and we make sure that he is um, yeah. still drinking his vitamins, his fluids and all that. And this little guy is still going to be doing his visits um, on conference call at least for another week 
and then we'll my husband will have to get retested and we'll go from there um so i am fine with the results i'm so so thankful that they came back not negative uh i posted on my facebook today that my house is closed for at least 30 days um so no visitors no people coming over nothing we are just gonna be strict my husband's not gonna go out anywhere i'm gonna be the one that is doing the grocery shopping i'm gonna be the one that like when i go to work i'm gonna order all my stuff at walmart and then pick it up when i get off of work um so that's how it's gonna be i am so happy um but once again just like right now my husband still has no symptoms of covid um he does feel a little bit tested positive and about seven people on his job tested positive and he has no symptoms at all um i mean he has like a little cough but he has seasonal allergies um so yeah i don't know but that's the deal start um bringing more a little bit more precaution in our everyday lives <sighs> and hopefully this virus disappears really quick um, that's all I, have. I hope you guys are gonna have a great week please like and subscribe to this video if you like my natural curly hair like and subscribe and I will tell you my secret I mean you guys always see me with my straight hair and look at this is really my natural curl I washed it today I put some mousse in it and I was like let me let it go but look at all that volume that I have <laughs> alright you guys enough about my hair um, I have a couple more videos going up this week today is Thursday so I'll post this one up um, and then I will post one tomorrow I don't know about what but we'll go from there alright you guys have a great day